Yo, what's up? It's Patrick from Guy in the Cube. Recently did a video talking about Semantic Link Labs and how you can use Semantic Link Labs to migrate your models using custom partitions to direct light. Great video, right? I thought it was a great video. Kind of long, but touched on a lot of points. But I forgot to show you, once you do the migration, how do I repoint my reports to this new direct light semantic model? I forgot to do it, but now that means I get to do another video. So, you know what I like to do? Enough of all this talking, let's do what? Let's head over to my laptop. In this example, I'm using one of the semantic models that I migrated in the previous video. So this is the original import using the incremental refresh, and this is the new direct lake model. And I have these three reports that's pointing to this one, and I need to get them over to my new direct lake semantic model. If I go over to the lineage view, you'll see that all three reports point to right here, the original semantic model. And I want them to point to this one, the one that's in direct lake mode. I've done a couple of videos on this before. Those methods still apply, but this way is so much simpler. So how do you switch it? Well, you can open up each report in Power BI Desktop, go to Transform, choose Data Source Settings, and then repoint to the new data set. So I can change this to incremental Direct like click it and it'll repoint. You can do that. Or you could use the REST API and do it for each one of your reports. You could write some code and have it iterate through a list and do things like that. Absolutely works. I have videos that show you how to do both of those. But what's great is with Semantic Link Labs, the former of the two, the one that used the REST API, Michael wraps it into a little function. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I went out to the Git repo and I found the rebind Python code. And you can see right here, it's just the wrapper for the following API. It's just a wrapper for this one. I copied this and here's the page, right? And this is the one I actually used in my video. So you can use either one of these methods. If you know me, I'm not lazy, I'm just really efficient. You can use Michael's method, let me show you. So in Semantic Links Lab, so you can see these are my three reports. I created a modified notebook that, you know, similar to the one he created. So let's go over here. Let me clear all the outputs and I need to start my session back up. So I'm gonna go ahead and install Semantic Links Lab. Let's just take a second through the magic of video. Now that that's installed, took no time. You need to import some libraries and set some parameters. And so you probably don't need this one. I haven't tested it out. It was in the script that Michael, the notebook that he built for migration. I don't think we need this one, but I'm not gonna chance it and make the change now. You need to set your original data set and your new data set. You have to set those. And if you're going across workspaces, you need to set that. So we're gonna go ahead and run that, just like the migration one. I removed a few parameters because I didn't need them for this. Okay, so now he's got two methods here. One that will do it one by one. And so if I run this, the monthly sales report, you'll see when I go to the lineage view, will be switched to the new data set. So I'm just gonna run this and then you'll see my output. It does it pretty quickly too. So it says monthly sales has been successfully rebinded to my direct late model. So if I switch over here, you can see the monthly sales no longer points to the original one. It goes to the direct late. And what I did was I made a little, so then you can go do your testing, make sure it performs, make sure, you know, all the schemes and the report still opens and everything still works. Maybe you just want to leave it there. But if you want to go back, I modified the notebook. I added another code block that'll switch it back. And so I just honestly switched the data set name. Instead of having new data set name, I put the original data set name back here. And if I run this, all it's going to do is switch it back. So if I go back to my lineage view, you'll see that all three reports are back to the original semantic model. Now, if you want to do this holistically for all the reports, you know, after you've done some testing on a single report, you can run this particular script, which is going to rebind all the reports. It's going to move them from the original data set to the new data set. So I'll click that. Boom. It's giving me a message. All three are rebinded. So if I go back, you'll see if we go to the original semantic model, nothing is connected to the original semantic model and all three of them are connected to my new direct lake model. And finally, just because I'm nice, I modified it just to, you know, copy paste, switched it and say, go back to the original data set. And so if I run this one, just like that, you'll see it put them back to the original data set, go to my lineage view, nothing's connected to the new direct lake one and everything's back on the original. And so if you want to test this out and try it out, not only can you do the migration, but you can also rebind those reports 
to the new data sets and now switch them back. So I will make sure that a copy of this notebook is in the comments below. All right, what do you think? Are you using Semantic Link Labs to make your life so much easier? I'm just getting into it. Stay tuned, I'm gonna make more videos on Semantic Link Labs. So, all right, if you got any questions, comments, you know what to do, post them in the comments below. If you wanna learn more about fabric and all the workloads of fabric, I'm sure there's videos flying above my head. And as always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.